All right, how's it going, everybody? Upgraded the uh, laptop here. Got the uh, MSI GS73 VR. I freaking love this thing. I'll be making a full review on it soon. Uh, I like it because well, 120 hertz refresh rate. Uh, also, the size is ridiculous. And also, the GTX 1060 inside here. Anyway, review on that's coming soon. In this video, we are going to talk about the first things you should do when you get a brand new laptop. There's a lot of stuff pre-installed. Some of the stuff you may want, some of the stuff you may not want. All right, when you guys first start messing with your computer, and you first install Windows, what you're going to want to do is make sure you do not connect to the internet unless you intend to use a Microsoft account. If you wanted to use a local account, it's much easier just to not connect to the internet, not connect to the Wi-Fi, and go ahead and do your installation that way. That way you'll have a local account. Uh, it won't activate the OneDrive, and Cortana will not be hooked up to anything just yet. If you guys want to skip all the uninstallations, there's one thing you can try by hitting Start, and then going to Settings by typing Settings. Now here you go to Update and Security, and you can go to Recovery, and you can reset this PC. So what this does is it just gets rid of everything except for your files. It removes all the apps and basically reinstalls Windows. But sometimes it's actually quicker just to go ahead and uninstall the programs uh, because this is going to take a minute to reset the entire PC and then it'll reboot and all that. So let's show you guys how to uninstall all the crap. Now there's sort of an easy way method to do all this stuff. Uh, it's called PCD Crapifier. It's basically an uninstallation program that uh, opens up and, and, and looks at your new computer um, and then says, oh, look, this stuff here, this is all trial software. It, it categorizes everything. The other more in-depth way, and the way I'm going to be doing this, is a program called Revo Uninstaller. Now, what Revo Uninstaller does that's different is it does not just run the standard uninstallation program. It does that, but in addition to that, it watches the, in, the uh, uninstallation and then monitors what's going on. And then when it's finished, it says, oh, hey, there's some registry keys left over that were possibly associated with this. There's a few folders here that are left on the hard drive. Do you want to go ahead and clean all of the rest of the gunk up? Now, this is a more advanced option, and sometimes uh, you may or may not want to uninstall certain things. So choose your program for removing all the bloat and get down to business. Okay, next up is Ninite.com. Ninite is a quick way to let you grab the programs that you want and install them quickly, but they go into their default registry. So there's Revo right there. Basically, go through here and grab whichever ones you want. I install FUBAR separately. I do like the K-Lite codec packs. And uh, security with Windows is, is okay. I mean, like, the Windows Defender will probably do a better job than most of these. So, yeah. You guys can grab uh, LibreOffice if you want to, or you can go grab OpenOffice, whichever one you like if you need an Office program. Also, I don't use any of these. BitTorrent Sync is kind of cool. Sync thing's pretty cool. Um, Steam I install separately because I put it on my larger hard drive instead of my main drive. This will just go on your C drive in your programs folders, which is fine because you can always install your games to different folders, but I like my entire Steam directory to be in the games folder instead of the programs folder, but... Alright, so there we go. Uh, the night is finished. As you can see, everything over here on the side. Yay! I don't like icons. Oh yeah, if you guys want to make your icons smaller, most people know this, but... Hold down control and then scroll your mouse. I like them small. All right, so next up, um, you know what? We're gonna make Windows R's. Yes. First things first, I'm gonna change the wallpaper. Yes, I believe, I believe that will do. Yes, lovely. All right, next up, I'm gonna grab something to uh, stop the Windows telemetry nonsense. And uh, there's a lot of different programs out there. Even Spybot has one, but they're all like shotgun blast effects, which is cool, but I like to know what I'm doing. So I go for this one. It's called Shut Up 10. It's uh, oosoftware.com slash Ian slash Shut Up 10. Yes, it's, uh, it's my uh, anti-spy tool of choice at the moment. So this, you know, goes through detail, you know, lots and lots of details. And you can disable and enable um, just basically anything. Create a uh, system restore point first, if you like. Another thing to note is that when Windows does updates, sometimes it'll reset this stuff. So you come back in here and, you know, you're like, hey, stop that. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, apply all the recommended settings. That'll be good for now. Come back in here. Uh, that's a good way to get started, but I'm going to come back in after the video and like really tweak this thing a little bit more. I'll restart later. Now, uh, here's one thing that just bothers me. When you click on File Explorer, it brings you to, you know, your, your quick access and all that stuff. I want it to go to the PC. So what I'm going to do here is go into my options, which are under View, Options. When you open File Explorer, go to This PC. Yes. And you guys can change some of these other things too. I always do show hidden files and folders under the view. All right, now let's let's get rid of all these damned windows. Ugh, look at all this junk that came with it. What is this nonsense? Xbox Groove music. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open up the PowerShell. I'm going to open this up with the admin access, run as administrator. All right, the command is going to be, and I'll put all this in the description. But anyway, run this command, and it will re remove all this stuff for all users. Go away. 
I mean, come um, manually uninstall the ones that are still lingering. All right, so that's finished running. Yeah, that's a lot smaller. Let's just get rid of Cortana. Just uh, unpin her. Let's just unpin all this crap here. These are just advertisements mainly. There we go. How nice is that? Oh, wait. I need JC Denton going on. You know, Windows 10, there's a lot of freaking notifications. So let's turn off some of those things by going to Start. Then you can go to set Settings or System. And the Notifications and Actions. But I'm just going to type Notifications and Actions. Hey, look at there. Type Notifications and Actions Settings. Go there. And show me tips about Windows. No. Show me app notifications. No. Show notifications on the lock screen. No. Alarms reminders. No. There we go. So you guys can go through here and just customize this as well if you like. Next up, let's uh, run a laptop. So let's put it on battery saver mode as well. All you have to do is center on a laptop is hit start and then type battery saver. And hey, battery saver mode. So it's fully charged. You can go in and play with your battery saver settings. Uh, I'm going to turn it on if it falls below 20%. That'll be fine. Stops all the crap that's running in the background and just says, hold on a minute, making your computer last longer. All right, now let's do God mode. I'll show you what it is after I show you how to do it. So go to your desktop or wherever, make a new folder, and you title the folder God mode, and then this huge string of characters that I will put in the description on the website or in the, you know, article on the website, but it's God mode dot, and then this long thing. You got some nipply parenthetical things there. And oh, it, it made a weird looking folder. What is this? Click it open, and it is just a shortcut to all kinds of cool things. Everything from backup and restore. Now, this is kind of interesting. Um, there's now a Bash shell, which is pretty much your Bash Unix shell, similar to what you'd have on Linux. It's like your terminal. That's now on Windows with the anniversary anniversary edition. You just need to turn on developer mode. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to update and security by hitting start. Let's go to settings. Now you go to settings. And once you get to settings, you go to update and security here. And then we're going to go down to developers. Put it in developer mode. And it'll be like, hey, do you want to do this? And you're like... I am smarter than you. Leave me alone. That's one other thing we do, we can do here in our uh, settings menu. If we go to update and security, again, same place. Now, there's something here called backup. You can set incremental backups, which is it's not as good as like um, I'm unpinning stuff from the start bar. Good. Get rid of Cortana. You know, I'm going to get rid of her. Cortana, hidden. Right, my VPN of choice is private internet access. Quite enjoy this one. It is lovely. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, go down to client, download, and support, and grab mine. But uh, you guys need to sign up for this affiliate code. So, you know, help us out, man. And we'll help you guys out by recommending good stuff. Downloading this, and uh, that'll be my VPN. VPNs basically uh, allow you to browse the net anonymously. They're not like 100% foolproof. So don't try to do anything stupid and think you're going to get away with it. They're, they're also good for, um, you know, when Comcast clogging up or throttling YouTube and other services. It'll make that run nice and fast, so that's good too. There's also a couple other um, utilities that are actually made by Microsoft. You can find them on technet.microsoft.com. Auto runs for Windows is a much better way to um, see what's going on behind the scenes than just pressing Control shift escape This is nice. I mean, this is really nice. You can see what's happening. You can see what's going on with your startup and turn crap off, which I'm going to turn a lot of this stuff off. Yeah, like SteelSeries Engine. Don't need that disabled. But anyway, um, you can really see what's going on with your system with a couple of different things. First off, auto runs for Windows. Go ahead and grab that. And then this one is called Process Explorer, and it is really in-depth. So I've extracted auto runs and Process Explorer into a folder I just called Hello for the hell of it. But, uh, you know, auto runs 64. I agree. And, you know, you can just have these here to run. Look at all this stuff, man. I mean, this is nerdy, but this is a very handy little thing we have here. And next up, I'll show you Process Explorer. Just very handy apps that give you super in-depth information on what's going on. You guys like charts? I like charts. I don't know what they mean, but I feel so smart when I've got like seven of them on the screen at once. I'm a super nerd. I've got charts. You like graphs? Me too. Let's do it. All right, so that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys install uh, when you when you uh, first get a machine. Let me know if you have any other programs that you prefer to install on uh, Windows 10 to help lock it down and that sort of thing. And just, I'm, I'm always curious as to know like what you guys do with your systems. So put all that in the comments over on the website and uh, look for the review on this thing very soon. See you guys later.